I don't know if this still happens, but many years ago, Evernote would have these hackathons to test ideas. And eventually they would invite me to talk about the solutions. And I remember this one, it was an automation. It would move nodes or add tags based on some triggers. I loved it, but unfortunately it never saw the light of day. There is this uh, plugin for Obsidian that Gary suggested me. He left a comment on my last video about the Kanban plugin. It, it looks like it does almost everything that that plugin, that not plugin, that uh, solution for Evernote would have done. And I had to test it. However, because automations never rest, once you set them up, they will work forever, no complaints. I never uh, test them on my real life software, be it Evernote, Trello, or Obsidian, or whatever. I always like to test them on a separate account, and this is what I'm gonna do today. And why not bring you with me? So let's do it. This video was sponsored by people like you. So if you enjoy what I do here on the channel, if it is useful in any way, please consider supporting my work by becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. First thing I wanna test here is if the plugin will work only on nodes created after the plugin was installed or if the automation will work on all the nodes. I'm using the same a Kanban board, but I added some new uh, nodes. So let's add the YouTube tag to this node here. And, and in this one, I'll add it as a property, YouTube. Okay, so we have this two nodes, this one here, and where's the other one here? That have the YouTube uh, tag, and I want them to be moved to this folder here. So let's install the plugin. Here it is. Install and enable. First, let's take a look at the rules here. First, set the destination folder. So in this case is YouTube. Set the tag or title that matches the note you want to move. The tag is YouTube. Look at item number three here. The rules are checked in order from the top. So I believe the highest one is tags and then titles, because then it says here, the notes will be moved to the folder with the first matching rule. So I believe that tags is the first matching rule. Okay, now let's close this. Nothing happened to the older notes, so let's create a new one. Let's use the test one title, um, hashtag YouTube. Wow, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Yep, there it is. So at least with the default settings, it doesn't affect older notes. We'll take a look at the settings. Maybe there's a way to trigger older notes to, to be moved. But yeah, pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the, to the settings again. By default, it was set to automatic. Let's change this to manual. Uh, will automatic can trigger by comment. So I'm assuming there is a hotkey to trigger this auto. Yeah, here it is. Move the node, toggle out to manual. Okay, maybe this is the one. Let's create a hotkey here, maybe shift command M. So let's go back here now. I'm gonna create a test number two. Again, YouTube. It looks like nothing happened. So now let's do shift command M. Yeah. <laughs> it was moved to the folder. I don't think I, I, I would set an automation that I would have to remember to trigger it, but maybe you would. Let's go back to the settings. Uh, okay, where it is, auto note mover. There's another one down here. Auto note mover will not move notes that have auto note mover disabled on the front matter. 
So let's do this test number three. Let's add a front matter here. Okay, auto node over. That's it. Let's again YouTube shift common move. It moved. What they did wrong. Oh, here it is. How to not move. It's not how to not mover. It's how to note mover. Okay. See, that's why I, I, I like to test things. Test number four. How to note mover. Disable now YouTube. Shift common M. Didn't move it. Pretty cool. I think this plugin is pretty interesting. Let's go back to the settings. Here's another good one. You can add excluded folders. So let's create, uh, let's take a look here. Maybe templates. Okay, let's add a folder here. And let's turn this to automatic again. Test number five. Let's do it here. Okay, new note here. Test five, YouTube. Nothing happened. Yeah, this is good because I do have many templates and I wouldn't want them to be moved from that folder to another folder. Okay, looks like they thought about everything except a way to trigger all their notes. It looks like it does, there's no way to do it. And I don't understand what this is. If you know what this is, please leave a comment below. What is a regular expression? I don't know. This is something that I don't understand. And there's also regular expression to check for excluded folder. I'll, 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 I'll do more research on this, but if you know what it is, please uh, leave a comment below. Another thing I wanna try here is how the plugin deals with nested tags. Is YouTube a tag? and creator slash YouTube another tag. Let's test it. Test five and add tag. But this time creator slash YouTube. It didn't trigger. So I think we have to create that rule. Let's test it. Folder YouTube. Yeah, it's a different tag. Okay, test number six. Creator slash YouTube. There we have it. I thought it would behave like this because this is Obsidian's behavior. And in a way, this is good because I can, for example, create specific tags for the Kanban board, maybe Kanban slash YouTube, and this tag will be the one moving that node to the other folder. Because I do have uh, the tag YouTube that I use in many kinds of nodes. For example, educational content that I have about YouTube will have the YouTube tag, and I don't want that to be moved from my knowledge base uh, notebook to, <laughs> to my creator uh, YouTube notebook. Doesn't make sense. And this is how I use tags uh, on Evernote and Obsidian. They work as a way to filter uh, notes from different spaces. Let's talk about that for a moment. Uh, I, I, I love the idea of this container. This is space. Sometimes I call it containers, sometimes I call them shoeboxes. Uh, these are not projects, these are spaces. People tend to mix organization and productivity. I don't think they are the same. You have organization and then you work or you have a system on top of that that will use that organization to help you work in a more efficient way. So in Evernote and Obsidian, even in Trello, I create these containers, these shoe boxes. In Obsidian is a folder, on Evernote it is a, a notebook, 
However, in situations like this, for example, I have the notebook where I create content. This is my creator YouTube notebook. It's it has the notes have the, the, the tag YouTube, but there are other notes inside the knowledge base notebook that also have the YouTube uh, uh, tag because they are in a way related. And this is how I use tags to filter content information that is, is stored in different shoe boxes, different containers. Anyway, I'll talk more about this in the future. If this one was helpful, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.